And now I'm going to turn to Deputy Lamaru. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I appreciate your comments. Don't necessarily have to, to agree with the comments, but I do appreciate the comments, and it does lead me to uh, maybe a different line of, uh, of questioning. And uh, you're obviously very concerned about the multicultural policy. Uh, it's very apparent. Uh, one of the things that uh, the government does do beyond immigration uh, is provide settlement monies. And through the settlement money, there's a multitude of different types of programs uh, that are provided. Um, do you think that if we were to look at settlement programming, and maybe this is something in which the government has not been overly successful at, is looking at settlement, how we're spending the settlement money, maybe to be able to deal with some of the concerns that you're, that you're highlighting uh, here. If we look at the value of education, um, and uh, uh, you know the education of tolerance uh, in society, uh, for example, uh, of how we could uh, uh, better ensure that people are being provided opportunities uh, in an equal fashion. Do you think that we could be doing a better job in terms of uh, uh, settlement plans, uh, which would make our communities a safer place to be? So we can always do better job under any circumstance. That's not the issue that I'm concerned about. We were, until the, this policy of multiculturalism was introduced, a liberal democracy. We are still trying to be a liberal democracy, but we have created a situation, and again, the Europeans are not confronting it. We have created a situation because the implicit premise of multiculturalism, that's the fundamental political philosoph philosophical issue we are dealing with. The fundamental premise of multiculturalism is collective identity because it says all cultures are equal which is a flatly untrue statement. All cultures are not equal. You cannot equate a liberal democracy. This is, liberal democracy is not a color issue, by the way. And I think that's where we, people get confused. Liberal democracy is a fundamental issue of premise that says about individual rights. And, and, and historically, a liberal democratic system has best dealt with all the various contradictions contradiction in bringing about a good society. So we can do and deal with all of the problems that arises by eliminating this argument that we have imported into our own makeup as a society that all cultures are equal. That leads to all sorts of consequences. Time forbids me, but that's why I said history is a paradox. And you take and consider any situation, it is the unintended consequences that flow. So I would remind you, and, and I, I've written about this extensively, that our Prime Minister, late Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, right in these hallowed halls, in his last visit, expressed regrets when he was asked a direct question, what do you think as a father of official multiculturalism? What is your thoughts about multiculturalism that you introduce. So these are footnotes that you can go in through it. The paradoxical result has been we have been stripping away the fundamental right that exists in a liberal democracy and no right is more fundamental than the right of free speech. And we have contorted and created all sorts of problems. And we're going to make, make it even more as the numbers grow because that's our political institution under the system will try to adapt to those numbers, will try to accommodate those numbers, will then give in to those numbers. That's the nature of politics. It is nothing new that we are inventing, especially a democratic politics. It's all about numbers. That's what I said. And so the numbers are going to lead to a certain way things are going to evolve. And we are already seeing the signs of that evolution taking place. The problem with the Islamic world has been the global challenge that has come into it the beginning of the 21st century with 9-11. And it's not going to phase out so quickly because it's a historical challenge, just as the challenge with communism was all of the 20th century. So when you raise the question about expenditure and maintenance and health care and so on and so forth, we will need those resources. We will need those monies. We will need to keep an economy growing. I'm coming back to the fundamental nature of our society. And there is, a, there is that paradoxical relationship between where we are in terms of a multicultural society and a free country, an open country with the levels of immigration, the numbers. And the two things will reach 
within a matter of a generation to a circumstances which I'm inviting you because we send you we send you to represent us that we are looking down a rope this is not a matter of hy- hypothetical this is a matter of clearly being able to forecast where we are headed and we are headed into dangerous grounds yeah. Europe is already showing us where we are headed just to, I guess maybe just to pick up on one quick point uh, sorry uh, Deputy Lamaru your time is up